basic chain ladder method run of triangles in excel okay so this method the steps we follow are we make the first we make the cumulative claims table then we calculate the development factors then there is the estimation of future payments and then we calculate the outstanding reserves okay so suppose this is the data this is the incremental non cumulative claims data okay no, claim payments these are paid claims okay <clears throat> so first thing we have to do is make the cumulative claims table so first thing we do cumulative claims table okay so just copy the format of the table from above so that it's there with you in the entire and we'll just remove these so first row is equal first column will be equal to these values only the column remains fixed column remains fixed okay then i have this value plus 624 and i am not fixing anything because we'll drag this so we get the incremental claims in the first row and then we we'll drag these down also okay so see these values so were not there these are not needed since these are zero it won't come okay so these are the incremental claims we get next next is calculation of development factors so we know how the development factors calculated what is f01 let's write development factors here development factors is equal to sum it is the sum of these four divided by the sum of these divided by sum of these okay and i press enter the first development factor is this moving on to calculate the second development factor again this is f let's just enter one row this is f0 comma 1 f0 comma 1 next is f1 comma 2 so it is equal to sum of these values divided by sum of these value next is f 2 3 equal to sum of two values divided by sum of these two values and lastly f of 2 of 3 comma 4 is equal to sum of this divided by sum of just to remain consistency we are doing this otherwise sum was not necessary okay so we get our development factors next is estimation of future payments so how do we do estimation of future payments we'll make a new table for that please don't do it in this table only so all values got changed we we'll just direct them to their initial values this name them estimation of future payments okay these are the estimation of future payments so how do we do estimation of future payments firstly all our values let's direct them to this table 
it will automatically get filled okay and we need to estimate these portions correct so let's do how do we we'll start from the left more uh, last so it will be 1182 into this development factor and here the row remains constant so i'm fixing the row into f01 since f this is zero and i drag this down then this value into f12 this value into f23 and lastly i get this value into f34 okay similarly i drag this up i get this value into f12 i drag this up this value into f23 and this is also f23 and similarly i drag these up so f34 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 is multiply let's just highlight what we have estimated by a, a different color these are the values estimated by us okay next the last one is calculation of outstanding reserves so how do we calculate the outstanding reserves just let's make it here outstanding reserves outstanding reserves here since the claims are paid so it will be equal to equal to this value minus this value itself okay and here my column remains in the first one it remains fixed so first one is zero equal to this value minus this value equal to this value minus the last estimated value because this is a reserve this value minus this and lastly this minus this okay so we have 1 2 3 4 are 5 the 5 years uh, reserves and total reserves maintained are outstanding total reserves sum of the above sum of the above so it is four eight six five point seven one. Okay, and this is not okay. So these are the outstanding results. Let's just highlight this. This is the total outstanding results we get at the end of the year. Okay, this was basic chain ladder method in run of triangles.